peeps, welcome to today's vlog. Today is Monday, so our weekend starts tomorrow. And uh, today is going to be probably pretty tough um, since Adam and Ryan are still out sick. Um, Kyle does not work on Mondays because his wife works, he has to watch the kids. So it's just gonna be me, Abby, and Ariel. And I don't know the last time we've only had three people working. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be busy. We're probably gonna have to not do a ton of trade-ins because that is the one thing we do at the store that takes the most time, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll get some stuff, but uh, yeah. This, this might be a weird video. So our printer here is oh doing something weird. It is... I haven't seen evidence of this. Well, the little blue things in there, there is one on each side, they grip the roll of labels. And they're gripping it so tight that when it's spinning out the labels, it's just like ripping them off. Like I printed these and you can see like, they're in multiple sections because it's just gripping it so tight, but then it tries to pull it out. And we're not really sure. No, you stop. We're not really sure why it's doing that. Um, and it's kind of a problem because normally we finish a transaction and then it starts printing labels and we move on to the next transaction, but we have to keep stopping and like trying to fix these. And it's annoying. I'm just letting you know. It just did it like three times. I didn't see it. It didn't happen. You heard it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And stop drinking my Hello Kitty beverage. Stop. Stabby. <laughs> stop it. We have two packages to open. And we haven't filmed anything today. It so sad when you just said that. <laughs> we, have two. we have two packages open. It's past six and we haven't filmed anything. So now we have to film the whole vlog in the next hour. And normally I would open these first off camera, then show you guys so it wasn't a five minute clip. <laughs> scripted. <laughs> it's not scripted. You know what this one is? Your mom. No, you know what it is. I just bought it the other day. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully no customers come in while we're Well, knock on wood. He doesn't believe in that. Ow! <laughs> I was knocking on wood. What if one day you woke up and you realized you were made of wood? I would die. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> he's famous from Family Guy. Oh yeah, the one that I got Cooper's in way better condition. Ooh, factory sealed golden 64 Does controller. It, stand? it still stands. What, what? So, we told you guys the other day, but hey, I'm opening that one. Yep. Abby got me that one from the expo, um, and then she saw this one posted, and it was way too cheap for what it is. So that one is gonna be for sale, keeping the one that, that Abby got because it's in much better condition. Yeah, because if I just randomly told you about it, you would have bought it just to, like, to have it in your collection and then I would have gotten that one for you for Christmas and then you'd be like, oh my God, you spent how much money? I got this for this you much money. You spent that much for a condition upgrade? And that's what I wanted to do. What is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, finally. This is something else for our collection. Oh, there's a card in here. From Next Wave Video Games. In Edmond, Alberta. In Canada. This is a Canadian. prototype for Legendary Wings for the NES. How do you know? Because I bought this from another game store mm -hmm. two years ago. It looks like it says four wings. I think it's L slash. No, wings. it's four wings. It's four wings. But anyway, what has they, four wings? Abby does. <laughs> they did. They did a Facebook auction for this from their store page. Mhm. Mm I mean, how many people are on a small game store's store page on Facebook? I don't think your 
you're supposed to be doing auctions on Facebook. That's probably why. I don't know. But anyway, they had this posted and I paid like 200 bucks for this. Mm -hmm. All right. For a prototype, that's really cheap. Yeah. And two years ago. So what happened? Yes. So um, somebody what? named, I think his name was Andrew. I'm pretty sure. Um, we've done some deals with him and he lived really close to the store. And he's the one who told me about this. Ruben? No. Okay. He's gone. So, Tell the story. Okay. No. <laughs> He lived close to the game store, and he's the one that told me that they had it and that they were doing this auction. So I went and I bid on the auction, and I won, and he was going to take care of shipping it to me. Uh, because the store, they were, I think they, I don't know if they were offering shipping or not, but he was gonna take care of it for me, and it took so long because we were, we were supposed to buy a bunch of other stuff from him. But as you know, Abby, Facebook messages are the hardest place to contact us to try to sell stuff and get offers made. So we just, it never ended up working out. And he was just holding on to this until he was ready to ship us the other stuff and he was gonna do it all together. And eventually I was like, oh hey, I think I bought that prototype game forever ago. And so I messaged him back and I was like, hey, can you ship that out? And he's like, oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> and we got it. Yay! Now we have two NES prototypes in our collection. What's the other wow. one? Pac-Man. Ah. Ariel, can you please sticker the Sonic plushies and then take out the trash? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Ariel, what are you doing? Uh, taking out the trash. Do you guys remember yesterday's question? Yeah, briefly. Yes. It was like, what game world would you not want to wake up in? Mm -hmm. Anti-vacation. Daysaver Productions said, Dante's Inferno. As soon as the babies with spikes for hands started running around, I stopped playing. Ooh, you know, another good answer would be the forest. And then, Venom Rex said, Venom! Would, Venom! Would not want to wake up in Dead by Daylight. Clearly, I would not survive, and someone <coughs> would leave me for dead. <laughs> that seems personal. <laughs> That's very personal. I am so sorry, Venom. I thought we were playing, you know, Left 4 Dead, not Dead by Daylight, whatever. Abby! Come film the trades! Film the trades, please! Hi guys, I am here with the trades for today. I don't know if you noticed, but it's just been the three of us, so we weren't able to film until just now, but starting off with some accessories and a DS. And then we have the Wicket the Ewok. This is fully complete. We counted all of the pieces. It is super duper cool. Um, very interesting to see this came from one of our regulars. And then we have some Amiibo Amiibis. These are from my collection, all three of these. Um, I just decided I only wanted to have the um, the Breath of the Wild ones. And then we have this guy. So interesting story, this, and then all of these Switch games right here. So these right here were all shipped to the UK. And shortly after we had a chargeback. Um, as you can see, the prices are very high. This was in there as well. Well, um, certain places in the UK, they have you pick up large shipments from the post office instead of um, ship like bringing it to your house itself. This started happening, I think this started during uh, COVID, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and the scammer did not pick up their package. So we got this back. Um, uh, like seven months after shipping it out. So it's actually really cool to get our stuff back. Uh, when that happens, you kind of just expect it to be at a loss. So um, like I said, all of these and this were in that package and we got them all back. So that was super cool. Carrying on, we have some PS3 games that were traded in. And then these guys, these two were our cases. They were loose cartridges um, that were brought into us. We have some movies, and we have some Blu-ray, 
I love the Miyazaki Spirited Away. It's probably one of my favorite movies. To this day, I have not seen all of the Miyazaki Studio Ghibli movies because I only allow myself to watch one new one a year and I don't want to run out of good things. So I just like do one a year and that's it. Last year I watched um, The Cat Returns with Nathan. So I've watched this one. Haven't watched Mo Princess Mononoke. That's probably the next one. And it's actually right here. We have the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. And then we have two stacks of Blu-ray. This stack is going to be all be $3. This stack's all going to be 5 So take a look at the $3 ones. Some horror. Some, I don't know, superhero ones. And then the $5 stack. Again, there's some horror ones in there. Some classics. These three. District 9 was interesting. And that is all that we have for the trade-ins. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video. It's 8.30 p.m. now, and we do close at 7, so I stayed an hour and a half to talk with Adam, the guy who's working on the website. And uh, we basically nailed down, well for the most part every like feature or you know change that i wanted made to the website um so he finished porting over basically the entire database of products uh he is there's a couple things he needs to tweak um some items like were not working um and we have an error report that he's going to be going through and figuring out what's going on with that um, he next needs to import all the customer data, previous orders, all that kind of stuff. And then he just has to make some little basically cosmetic changes and, you know, configure some plugins and stuff like that. And it's coming along really quickly. I read a comment earlier <laughs> on yesterday's vlog from someone who's like, oh, I don't think that they're going to launch the website soon. It'll probably be a few months down the road. And... <laughs> That was really funny to me because, um, like, we're very close to launching. Um, the majority of the work is already done. It's just making sure that everything has ported correctly and making sure that it is hooked up properly to GameSmart, which is our inventory software. Um, but so far, so good, basically. Like I said, a couple small errors, but they're they're they don't seem too troublesome um the guy doesn't seem too worried about it so i'm looking forward to it and i hope you guys are as well it's gonna be super awesome so yeah i can't wait abby yes question of the day okay for you and the peeps who is either your favorite or who is the scariest horror icon I thought you were about to say employee, and I was like, I can't legally answer that, but, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What was the question again? Who's your favorite or the scariest horror icon? <laughs> Ghostface. He's the scariest? He's my favorite. <laughs> Have you ever seen Repo, the genetic opera? Oh, no. 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 Um, it's really good. Uh, I should not have watched it when I did. <laughs> um, but basically, there's a guy in there who takes your organs back if you don't pay for them. <laughs> and uh, any, anything that has to do with your organs, like, freaks me out. And so the idea of some guy being like, hey, you missed your payment on your lungs, so I'm just going to take that one back. I want all of my meat to stay inside of my body. <laughs> so probably that guy. <laughs> The scariest for me, I think, is Freddy Krueger because Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers, they're both big dudes and they could cut you up, but they can't get you when you're dreaming. And Freddy can. And he will. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Can you see my breath? It's getting chilly. Just in time for halloween -y. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.